I think it's important for a teacher to display a passion for the thing that they're teaching. Some kids don't know where their passions are. How could you know you'd have a passion for a musical instrument if you've never played one? When I was in elementary school, I was very good at art, and my ability in art was always encouraged. Mother and my third grade teacher worked together as a team. If I hadn't had art, I would have gone nowhere. One of the things I've talked about in many of my talks is how there's different styles of thinking. I am a total visual thinker. It's sort of like Google for images. Let's take airports, for example. There's no generic airport. I'm seeing specific pictures of all the different major airports. Now, I used to think everybody thought that way. And then I started learning that there's other kinds of thinkers. I'm seeing too many kids getting fixated on their label. Though I consider myself an animal science professor first, and the autism comes second. Now people say to me, if I could snap my fingers, would I want to be, um, uh, not be autistic? No, I like the logical way I think. Montessori does a lot of hands-on things. And one of the worst things that many schools have done is taking out all of the hands-on things. And I want to see people uh, develop to get really good at things they really like doing and be able to use their abilities in interesting work.